Okay, folks, this is painful because I had to upload this. But anyway, water spots down in Australia. Houses get tore up. See the owners of the victim houses. Uh, so, huge water spouts. I mean, I know people have seen water spouts before, but they ain't seen nothing in a water spout like that before. It does a lot of damage. Tore up some houses. And we got our star cluster for absolute positive, because basically it's between us and the sun, as you can see here. So, it's a very interesting star cluster that uh, is between, or even if it's farther out than the sun, it sure looks to be between us and the sun. So it's very interesting and you can see it there. And we'll pump it up here a little bit in size. I think I can go up to like 50, maybe fit this in, in the window. And then we'll go ahead and get the magnifier out and take a look at this thing. Now this thing keeps on showing up down there around 11 UTC hour. Okay, so... Uh, Let's go ahead and get the zoom in on here. And you can see the dates different. Like, you know, I never play with photos ever. So, uh, let me get the zoom tool going here. And here we go. We'll magnify this up a little bit and take a look up here at it. And as you can see, it's a very interesting cluster. Just going to get into the pixels. Try to keep the. Matter of fact, I'll go like this and then like that. I think. Do I get rid of it? So, anyway, there we are magnified up real good. So, you get a real good look at it. Try to keep the magnifier out of the way. So, it's a very interesting star cluster. And we've seen this go all the way around and come down and touch the Nehemiah station, which is really freaky. Okay, and basically you can see that and go back to, I'm going to try to search my videos back last year in the winter. And we could see it doing this. And it actually would come down and touch, basically, whether it's basically hovered over top of, but basically it almost looked like it was magnetically attached to the metal base of all the frame of the building last year. So, it's very interesting. And we'll see if what we can get. And there's some interesting of what it does in the sky above. Because basically that's there at that time. Let me see if I can get this to go away down. Just basically get it out of the screen and then we will go ahead and take a look at what else and there's another shot and basically I'm just going through the time clock here and I think I was backing up so I think I can start it and we'll get the black light at the beginning of the video or at least we'll just go through it real fast I guess and you'll end up seeing the what we got going on the clock am I going forward yeah we're going forward no nope, we're going backwards sorry but anyway let's get the video in here real fast so basically the sun and everything is moving backwards here but we don't end up with any uh we just end up with it with it the star cluster in the sky and there's a black light at the very beginning matter of fact I think I'll just hit the refresh button and this should just get us in normal mode going in forward I believe I had it playing, I don't know if I stopped it on the clock's going so we're going forward so and I need to knock it down to like oh and I just missed it, I hope I didn't screw up that shot
and you do get one reflection of it what's in front of the sun at that certain time if you go back there and you'll back up the video a little bit you'll see the reflection of the object that's in front of the sun that ends up uh, hitting the tower let's see if I can just let it keep on going here and I'll I'll give you some CME action there and basically I think I can back up and you'll get a perfect reflection of what the object that is in front of the sun and it's right on top of the tower bam it's right there in fact I can zoom in on that real fast and there you go it's right on the tower and it's basically what's in front of the sun and what's unique is it well anyway the clouds burnt off and as you can see it as it went down that's what ended up rotating around the sun right there. So I'll pump up one more. And that's what rotates around the sun. That there object right there. It's basically known as the red Kajina. The Aztecs knew about it. I think it's basically just going to affect uh, the magnetism of Jupiter when it goes by Jupiter in the end of July and of uh, to August 5th of next year and I'll just zoom down here a little bit so that's her pretty much and the red kachina and everything like that and that's it up by the, and as you can see it has some kind of resemblance of at least it either that or it's putting off part of the it's kind of hard to tell but you get that there I don't know if it's the, the building itself or if that's actually the signature that's up on the object pretty close to what Jupiter has for uh, some very definite it's got that red mark well this is different it's got red and then whatever that but then again it could be partly the building in the back but anyway that's the reflection that you get it from in front of the Sun and uh, it's out there and and then pretty much it's gone because that rotates right in front of the Sun And it probably pretty much could be the signature of it because, as you can see, as I get away from that, and then I can, I guess I can go ahead and zoom back in with it not being reflected on the building. And as you can see, latest quake data, Chile's got a 5.2 just recently, and here's my time down here, Central Standard Time here, USA. And then we had a 5.5 .5 in Honshu, and I think that's probably been the biggest in the last 24 hours. Not positive, but we'll scroll through the data real fast. You can always freeze it and watch it full screen and figure out. And also go ahead and go to the site and take a look. Uh, here's some more. Second page of the 23rd, and there it cuts off and goes to the 22nd. So. Like I say, I figured that 5.5 is the largest, not positive, but we still had a bunch of 5.4, 5.2. This is basically for radio operators and for uh, satellite operators. And this is the warning that went out for CME action, which I'll give you some information on that. Here's the ACE. Basically, this is very interesting here, and this is when we got the CME that hit us right there and I'm talking earth okay and then also the solar wind speed picked up dramatically here and has been climbing and here we go down look at the other ace i.e. the same signatures right there and right there and that is where we picked up the CME let me give you some more information on that and I had the no alert same thing I showed you on the small text that I took kept record and then that was from Noah there and here I go with the Swedish Institute and they caught it and it hit earth if you see it just before this is a great signature of it before it or pretty much the first nano of it pretty much hitting us and then wham it hits us good and I had a graph on the United States stuff too I lost it because it refreshes all the time and it had a good uh, a, our wife going completely off the US chart. There's a proton magnometer. 
when it came in. And as you see now, we're climbing. So, you can see all the hurts down here that we're getting here. That's radio frequencies that are getting off the sun, off that solar wind. And here's our other ones, the US showing it. And basically, when this hit on the US one here, this one here down here refreshed. And it's basically not showing anything, but it was basically actual factual. It was recording way up here past the numbers on the page. That's how hard it hit. And then basically, they've reset this one, and we're not even getting a reading right there now. All we need to do is we get this here on the timeline. So I think it got so high that the, that those two would.